Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is a coloring book. I'm doing this in Microsoft Word. Uh, I did get this as a requested video from my Instagram page, so I figured I'd start with Microsoft Word because I feel like a lot of people already have it and it cuts down on the learning curve of having to learn a brand new software. So I did add in some measurements here for you guys if you decide to do the activity book the way that I did. Now each side of your coloring page are going to be 5.5 by 8.5. This space right here is just a space I created to do stickers on the back side of my activity book. This right here is where my crayons are going to go. I decided to do this because when you add the crayons into the bag, sometimes they're like shifting all over the place. So I felt like this was a good way to just keep them stable in the bag and they don't block your design or anything like that. So you can use those same measurements or you can create your own, completely up to you. I am gonna go ahead and start my design. So what I do typically uh, start off with, if you wanted to create a new document, of course you go to File, New Document. Now, the first step that I do is I go to Layout. I go to Size, I wanna make sure that that is on US letter border list. I go to Orientation and I go to Landscape, okay? I go to Margins and I go to Custom. All of these one inch margins, I'm gonna change to zero. And I'm gonna press okay and ignore, okay? Now my cursor starts at the edge of my paper. That's how I start pretty much every activity book or coloring book that I do. Going back to the design that's already started, I will basically just start with a square, okay? So I go to insert, I go to shapes, square and then I just pull and drag it out. Now you can either make sure with your dimensions right here that you get right to 5.5 by 8.5 or let's say I remove my hand off of there I can change it here 8.5 by 5.5. Now you do want to remember that uh, to have this unlocked or else that's not going to let you change the proportions, okay? And then I have to, for every single thing you add into Microsoft Word, you have to wrap text. Don't know why, don't know what the purpose is, but for Microsoft Word, you have to do it. And although Publisher and Microsoft Word will act very similar to each other, you do not have to do that process in Publisher. So I'm going to go to behind text and then it will shift everything back in place, okay? Now, moving that out some, and sometimes you can still see a little bit of the line just because I made my margins uh, to none. I'll just drag that down just to make sure nothing's gonna um, not be printed or anything like that. So for your front page, if you wanted to just have a flat color like red, Boom, you change it to red. You can click this little uh, down arrow and it will give you more color options. You can even go here and you can choose from the color wheel or from color pencils, etc. You can also do a gradient. I'm gonna do mine as a picture. So I'm gonna add in this one right here, okay? My dots are a little smaller than I want, so I am going to just drag this out some. So that's about good, okay? And then I will go ahead and start inserting my clip art into my onto my front cover. And it's the same process. Insert, picture, picture from file. And then I'm gonna go to my uh, ice cream clip art.
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some effects onto my ice cream. For the ice cream itself, I'm going to do a glow. And I'll start off with like this size maybe. But I want to make it white. So I'm going to go here and click on my paint bucket. And I'm going to change that to white. This one, I am going to do a glow as well. And I think I'm going to make it yellow. Maybe more of a, that color. So yeah, that's pretty good. And you can always change your transparency if you like, if you want to make that a little darker or lighter. And you can always change the size as well. Those are some tips for having your clip art stand out some. I'm gonna also go here to picture effects and you'll get the same options. I'm gonna place a bevel on there. So it gives a little bit more depth to your images. So you can play around with those effects and see what you get, but you know, you don't have to produce just a plain flat image just because you're using Microsoft Word. They do have, you know, several good options in there. Okay, now for my text, I'm going to go to Word Art and I'm going to choose this one right here. It's the same one that I used. I'm going to do a wrap text in front of text and I'm going to move it down. Okay, I'm going to change my font to Beauty Gaddish. And then I'm going to go to my shape format and I'm going to change that to red. I'm going to choose no outline and I'm going to change my glow to this mustard color. So instead of doing word art again, all I'm going to do is copy and then paste. So that's pretty much it for my front cover. We'll go through with inserting the coloring pages, which I'll show you how to do now. For the tic-tac-toe, all that I did was go into Google, type in tic-tac-toe, and there you have it. Did a screenshot, and then I just made it small enough to copy it four times. So a little tip about coloring books. If you're looking for just simple coloring pages, you can use Google. You can also use Pinterest, which is what I use a lot of the time. I do have a board already that's set for coloring books. Um, so typically what I do is I just go and search, as you can see here. Um, and some of these you'll recognize from the coloring book that I was just showing you all. Um, but whenever you find something, you can click on it see if it's something you'd like and then save it to your computer so i typically do that and then i do a right click save to downloads and i'm done so when i go to insert a new page all that i do is i go here to insert go to picture picture from file i'm going to choose my image i'm going to do wrap text in front of text, I'm going to set this to a width of 5.5 and then I'm going to move it over and that's it. So now for printing, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I am going to be doing stickers on this uh, page right here that will be done and cut out with my Cricut. And right here is a space for my crayons. I started doing this not too long ago just because I felt like once I put the crayons in the bag, they were kind of like all shifty and kind of blocked the whole like, you know, design. So I just kind of decided to just make a little space for them. And I put a little strip of double sided tape, which you'll see me do when I assemble the coloring book. 
And um, as you can see, everything else is pretty much completed with my coloring book. So I'm going to go ahead and print. Now, when I print, I do one page at a time. So if I have to do 20 coloring books, I do 20 of just the front and back cover, which would be this. And then I'll do, you know, I'll stick my sheet back in and then I will do 20 of the other side. So you'll see that I'll show you specifically how I do it. And I just choose this option right here. And then I will choose just page one. I'm only going to do one copy. And then we will go ahead and assemble these. And so when I take done. my coloring sheet out, all that I do is if there's 20 sheets on there, I stick them back in the same way they came out of my machine. Okay. I'm going to print page two. Okay, so you see I have my front cover and I have my inside cover. Okay, you guys, so I am finished with my coloring book. So let's go ahead and assemble. I did cut this with my Cricut, um, but you know, honestly, using your Cricut for stickers is not all that necessary. There is, you know, even licensed characters, there's stickers at the Dollar Tree that um, they already have like several sheets for a dollar. You don't have to make your own. So the things that I used for this project was I did use cardstock, mainly because sometimes with cardstock, I'm sorry, sometimes with coloring books, like if you use copy paper, it is very see-through. Um, so there are times because I do get the Recollection brand cardstock for super cheap. I can make 25 uh, coloring books out of that because this is only basically two sheets of cardstock. Um, so it's not very expensive to use cardstock, but of course you're gonna get more for your money with uh, copy paper. It's just that it does tend to be a little bit see-through. And I will show you a sample of one that I had done for Christmas. Um, that was done with presentation paper, okay? So, Basically, I'm going to take my double-sided tape and I'm just going to place a piece right here. You can find these um, crayons at Sam's Club, at Amazon is where I typically buy mine from. If I do do it this way, make sure that you glue it with a flap up so that they can still peel the crayons off and then they can put them back in and leave the, you know, leave it attached to the book. That way it's kind of like a storage space in a sense. Um, and then for my stickers, I'm going to place them right here. So I have my stickers, crayons, and I have my coloring book on the inside. And of course, you can always do more pages, um, but if you add one more page, it's basically like four more pages, because um, you can get four pages onto one sheet, okay? Um, so here's a sample of the one I had done at Christmas time, and I had added stickers on the inside of the book. This is done with presentation paper. And as you can see, if you kind of look close, um, you can see through that page. But you know, it's not, not a huge deal. Um, but you know, you can play around with these to you know get the look exactly the way that you want. And then I did the stickers here so that they can sort of add inside of the snow globe. Um, and then I have my 
um, sheet that this is gonna go into. And I got these from Amazon. And I use these bags for everything. They're like $8 and you get 200 of them. Um, my initial thought was that I was only gonna use them for the coloring books, but I use them for so many different things, like to package my um, other items that are gonna ship um, to keep them, you know, to keep them safe. I use all this same, um, the same size. It's the size for the coloring book, um, but just this way, nothing gets damaged like in shipping or, you know, even if it's a local order, everything's kind of packed together and you don't have to worry about it. Like, you know, you're driving, something spilled on it, whatever. Um, but yeah, that is the coloring book. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I, of course, will link everything down below that I use, the clip art and the, um, you know, the bags, everything. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.